can we Muslims wish non-Muslims during their festivals? For example, can we wish the Christians with Merry Christmas? I live in a Christian country. Many Christian and Hindu colleagues wish me on the day of Eid. It feels rude that I do not wish them during their festivals. Jazakallahu khairan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran in Surah Al-Maidah, chapter number 5, verse number 72. لَقَدْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهُ هُوَ الْمَسِيحُ بْنُ مَرْيَمُ They do blaspheme, they do kufr, who say Allah is Christ the Son of God. وَقَالَ الْمَسِيحُ and said Christ, يَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلُ O children of Israel, أُعْبُدُ اللَّهُ Worship Allah, رَبِّي وَرَبُّكُمْ Who is my Lord and your Lord. إِنَّهُ مَنْ يُشْرِكْ بِاللَّهُ for whosoever associates partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, فَقَدْ حَرَّمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ الْجَنَّةِ Allah will make Jannah haram for him. النَّارِ And the fire is his dwelling place. وَمَا لِلظَّالِمِينَ مِنْ أَنصَارِ And for the wrongdoers, there is no one to help. From this verse of the glorious Quran, we clearly understand that it is kufr if someone says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has begotten a son. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala repeats a similar message. In Surah Al, in Surah Al Maryam, chapter number nineteen, verse number eighty-eight to ninety-two, وَقَالُوا تَخَذَ الرَّحْمَنُ وَلَدَ They say that Allah has begotten a son. لَقَدْ جِئْتُمْ شَيْئًا إِدَّا You have come with a thing most monstrous. تَكَادُ السَّمَاوَاتُ يَتَفَطَّرْنَ مِنْ That the skies would have split asunder if it had feelings. وَتَنْشَقُ الْأَرْضُ and the earth would have split open. وَتَخِرُ الْجِبَالُ هَدَّا And the mountains would have fallen down to utter rule. أَنْ دَعُوا لِلْرَّحْمَنِ وَلَدَا That if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had begotten a son. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is clearly telling us in the glorious Quran that it is blasphemous if someone says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has begotten a son. They do kufr who say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has begotten a son. The Christians on the 25th of December, when they celebrate this day of Christmas, they believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala begot a son on the 25th of December. And when we wish our Christian colleagues, our Christian friends with Merry Christmas, we are giving shahada, we are bearing witness that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala begot a son on the 25th of December. It is haram for us Muslims to wish the Christians with Merry Christmas on this day of Christmas. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Al-Ma'idah chapter number 5, in Surah Al-Ma'idah chapter number 5 verse number 2, وَتَعَاوَنُوا عَلَى الْبِرِّ وَالتَّقْوَى And encourage each other in al-birr and al-taqwa. That is in righteousness and in taqwa. وَلَا تَعَاوَنُوا عَلَى الْإِثْمِ الْعُدُوَانِ And do not encourage each other in sin and in transgression. So it is prohibited for us Muslims to wish our Christian colleagues, our Christian friends with Merry Christmas. It is even prohibited for us to celebrate their festivals. It is prohibited for the Muslims to celebrate any religious festival of the other religions. The only two festivals that we Muslims can celebrate as far as our religion is concerned, it is Eid al-Fitr as well as Eid al-Adha. The other religious festivals, whether it be the Hindu festivals, whether it be Diwali, whether it be Christmas or whether it be any other religious festival, we are prohibited from celebrating these festivals. We cannot even be a party to these, we cannot be even a party to them when they are celebrating these festivals. We cannot attend these festivals. We cannot even eat the sweets that is given to us during these festivals. And according to Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, rahimahullah, may Allah have mercy on him, even he said that it is prohibited for the Muslims to celebrate the festivals of the other religions. To be a party to them as far as celebrating their festivals is concerned. And even wishing them on these days of their festivals, it is prohibited. During this day of Christmas, that is the 25th of December, and in approximately four weeks time, Christmas will be approaching. The 25th of December, wherein the Christians, they celebrate this day of Christmas and they believe that Almighty God begot a son on the 25th of December. This is a golden opportunity for us to do dawah.
to our Christian colleagues, to our Christian friends. For example, if your Christian colleague, if your Christian friend wishes you with Merry Christmas, you can ask your Christian friend a simple question. What is this Christmas? So he will tell you that it is the day where an almighty God begot a son. And they will start telling you regarding the divinity of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. That Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he's almighty God. Immediately your, star, your dawah starts then and there. You can tell your Christian friend, your Christian colleague, there is not a single unequivocal statement, not a single unambiguous statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says, I am God or where he says, worship me. Immediately your dawah starts. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he never claimed divinity. And I've given a talk on similarities between Islam and Christianity, wherein I've discussed in detail regarding the concept of God and Christianity, that you have to worship only one God and you have to worship him alone. And Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he is not God, but rather he is a messenger of Almighty God. So it is a golden opportunity for us to do da'wah to the non-Muslims, to our Christian colleagues, to our Christian, Christian friends on this day of Christmas. And if you want to do da'wah to your Christian friends, so it is a golden opportunity for you to do it on this day of Christmas. And if you want to attend their festivals, you can only attend their festivals if your purpose is solely to do da'wah to them, in order to correct them, in order to tell them what they're doing is wrong. Only in this situation you can attend their festivals and your purpose should be solely to do da'wah to them in order to correct them. And certain people might argue and say that, you know, in order to build our relationship with our Christian friends, we attend their festivals. You cannot do something haram in order to achieve the right goal. The means also have to be right in order to achieve a particular goal. For example, A Muslim, in order to give one million dollars in charity, he cannot rob one million dollars and give the robbed one million dollars in charity. This is prohibited. This is haram in Islam. For example, hypothetically, he will get 100 points reward for giving charity. But at the same time, he will get negative 1000 points for robbing so the net result is negative 900 points so the means also have to be right in order to achieve the right goal so just to build our relations we cannot do something that is haram tomorrow a muslim might say that you know in order to build relations with my non-muslim friend i will have alcohol along with him i will have pork along with him this is totally prohibited in Islam, but rather we should capitalize this opportunity and do da'wah to our Christian colleagues, to our Christian friends on this day of Christmas. And if we do da'wah in the correct manner, inshallah, they will be impressed with Islam and inshallah, they will enter the fold of Islam. So we should talk about the similarities between Islam and Christianity. Come to the come to common terms as between us and them. And inshallah, this will draw them closer towards the deen of Islam. So I hope that answers your question.